Good morning, everyone. It's Anita Menon from HeartHealthBrainHealth.com, encouraging healthy grieving and mindful actions. I'm back in the forest, as you can see, and uh, I've got uh, lovely nature around me, and I'm sitting on this beautiful forest floor. The sun is shining down. It's a beautiful start to the day, and I can tell you that today I have been contemplating the thoughts of the differences between belief, trust, and faith. So belief. You might have heard a quotation by Wayne Dyer, which says, a belief is a thought that you think again and again. Now, this quotation is also something that some people might recognize as part of Esther and Abraham Hicks' work. And from what I understand, uh, Wayne Dyer actually learned it from them, so which is kind of interesting. And anyways, that's just details that I'm not going to look into truth behind. All I know is that they were both functioning from the same perspective and I really like it. So again, a thought that you think again and again turns into a belief. So if I think that I love the forest, I love the forest, I think it again and again and again, and I come to the forest and it gives me a beautiful experience because I love the forest and it's my belief. One day I come to the forest and I fall or I get chased by someone, something not so good happens. Trust had built up before that time, right? So I have believed that I love the forest so much and I'm trusting the forest and suddenly I'm chased by something. Maybe it's an animal, maybe it's a person, maybe it's maybe I see something that makes me not so comfortable, right? So all of that changes my trust in this experience, right? Most of all, we can think about beliefs and trust in our own personal experience about ourselves, right? So I believe I can do this. I believe I can go for a walk in the forest and that's a beautiful thing. So here I am and I'm walking in the forest and what a beautiful luxury. Then I'm trusting that this is going to be consistent and one day I get an injury and I can't walk anymore. And now I don't trust my legs, myself, to come into the forest because it's a little bit unstable in the forest and I might stumble and hurt myself while I'm still recovering from whatever injury I've got in my leg. So that changes the, the trust of the experience. The same thing happens in terms of our life experiences in our day to day, right? So if I believe that I can get a job, I am going to apply to all the jobs that I believe I can get. And I keep on applying, I keep on applying and eventually I get a job and my belief came through. Over time, I might also notice that uh, I believed I liked this job, but it's not what I believed it was going to be because now I've got a boss that's not speaking so well to me. Now I don't trust this experience because I don't feel safe here. So that can change the trust. So I wanted to let you know what is this difference. So with belief, it is accepting without question, without question. It's like, I believe I'm going to be happy in this job and I believe that this will be really good for me. Or I believe that I am going to have a good experience in the forest. Trust comes with testing the belief. So remember, if trust has been shaken up or changed. So if I trip in the forest because my leg is injured, I might not trust my experience. If I have a not good experience with the boss, I might not trust that experience anymore, right? So I don't trust myself now in this experience. So belief, again, is coming from repeating a thought. Trust is coming from testing the thought and then having an experience with it. And then faith. I've got this quotation about faith with, without an author, but I thought it was lovely. It says, faith is much better than belief. Belief is when someone else does the thinking. And this is interesting, right? Because a lot of people have what's called blind faith. So I believe this is so because... I've learned it through my religious institution. I've read books about this. I believe it. I've read it enough. I've heard it enough. Someone has said it enough. I've said it enough. I believe it's true. So I trust it. I've tested it. I've tested it. And it seems to work. So I trust it. And then one day, it doesn't work. And what happens to faith in that time? So you had trust in something. Your faith might get shaken a little bit. And oftentimes people's faith does get shaken about whatever. It can be about relationships and things that have changed. It can be about work experiences. It can be about health, right? So all of that, faith can get shaken up and faith in a higher source can get shaken up too. So who are these people? And I'd like to say that I'm one of them who have unwavering faith and not because of blind faith, 
because there is an intention, a sincere, how did I write this down? Eagerness, eagerness to know something that is unknown. So something that we know is unknown that I can't know the absolute truth about this. I can know a relative truth, right? So absolute truths, there is no doubting it. This job will never change. And then COVID came around and people lost jobs, right? This experience will never change. I love traveling and now suddenly we aren't flying so much, right? So there's all of these things that check and check on us as to how strong is our faith about whatever our experience is. And we can have strong faith in absolute truth. I am happy when I travel, right? But I am happy when I'm connecting with nature. It doesn't matter where I am, right? So that's finding out absolute truth. There's something about connecting with nature that gives me peace and joy and happiness that I carry everywhere. Those are absolute truths. Relative truths are truths that are true today, maybe not tomorrow. But today, it feels like it will be true forever. And it only takes time to see that that changes. So I um, was noticing that one of the things of um, seekers and seers that differentiates them is this real steadfast determination to seek the truth and seek learning and seek learning what is unknown. So to make known what is unknown is a burning desire. And I will definitely tell you that it's a burning desire for me. And this awareness, as I'm talking about absolute truth, and you hear that I'm talking about peace and happiness, joy, these are not measurable things, right? And our human mind very much likes measurable things. So if this makes me happy, then it's worthy. And if it makes me not happy, then it's not worthy. And that would be belief and trust, right? So those sorts of things. And those are human level experiences. Faith is one level beyond that, where whether it's good or not good, I have faith. Nothing gets shaken. This is what I want to share with you today. And I hope you spend five minutes after this video and just sit and think, what is one thing that you believe in? What is one thing that you trust? Because you have tested it and seen that this is so. I've, with my testing, my experience has shown that this is so. And what is one thing that you know you have unwavering faith in? I hope you do that for five minutes and I hope you have fun time doing it too. And I hope you know, transform your mind and transform your life. Have a great day, everyone.